Hi everyone, when you are on a ketogenic diet, the only way to make sure that your body is producing ketones is to test for them. So there are two main ways to do that, either test your urine for the presence of ketones or test your blood for the presence of ketones. But when you're doing those two tests, you're actually testing for two different types of ketones. So there's three of them, what are the ketones? So acetoacetate is the first ketone that's made and then uh, through beta oxidation it becomes beta hydroxybutyrate and some of that acetoacetate is broken down into acetone and CO2. Right, so, um, so the, and then that acetone, maybe we'll just talk about the acetone and kind of get that out of our conversation yep. a little bit. So uh, acetone and carbon dioxide, they are kind of a byproduct that, that are volatile in the body. So your body has to get rid of that ketone and you breathe that one out. Uh, now there are some breathalyzers that you can use to test ketones. We haven't really experimented with those yet. We will. We'll, we'll I think we'll get they're it. still kind of iffy. Yeah. They're, they're trying to figure it out. When they get it figured out, we'll try them. Yeah, so, so really what we're looking at uh, on this video is uh, the, the urine strips and the blood uh, ketones measured um, by a, a blood glucose and ketone meter. What are we testing on, on each one? So when we use our blood meter, you're saying that we are looking to get a more accurate uh, representation of what? We are testing for beta hydroxybutyrate when we use the blood meter and that really gives us the the ketones that are in your blood which is beta hydroxybutyrate which is what your brain uses mm -hmm. um, so you're getting kind of a, a more snapshot moment of what's going on in the blood right then mm -hmm. with the urine because the acetoacetate and this is what you're measuring with these is acetoacetate um, this is gets filtered down through the kidneys and into the bladder mm -hmm. so it's more of a um, like a kind of a longer exposure and what's going on uh, in your body. So you mm -hmm. get that acetoacetate that builds up maybe over a couple of hours, mm -hmm. um, you know, before you have to, uh, to urinate. And so they're, they're different things. They're right. very different things. Right, right. So, so here we're, we're measuring uh, acetoacetate um, and this is uh, maybe a little bit less precise, however, much cheaper much cheaper and here with our blood glucose meter we are utilize, we are using utilizing this to measure uh, beta hydroxybutyrate which is a different type of ketone um, that's more of a quick snapshot of what's going on in your in your body right at that very moment much more expensive as far as the strips go and you have to prick your finger and you have to prick your finger yeah. well here you have to pee on a stick that's not that's not uh, I the can best handle thing. that yeah now one of the things the question we've gotten a couple of times is well how do I you know why doesn't my reading on my my urine strips match the reading on my blood meter mm -hmm. and you know that the you know again they're they are two totally different things you're so measuring acetoacetate on one, you're measuring beta hydroxybutyrate in the other. One is in the urine, it's been there for a while. One's in the blood, like kind of there immediately. And it, it's kind of like saying, um, you know, how many apples eat equal a quart of orange juice? I mean, they're just two different things that you can't really equate. Mm -hmm. So you just use them for what they are uh, mm -hmm. for different purposes. Yeah. Yeah, but if you're on a ketogenic diet, they both serve a good purpose. They right. will both give you kind of an idea of where you're at. So. Right. Then the interesting thing with these is that, so you breathe out the acetone, which is a ketone, uh, and you pee out the acetoacetate, which is a ketone. So you're actually wasting molecules of energy. Mm -hmm. And that is where some of this great effect of the ketogenic diet comes in because you're not, your body is not burning up all of that substrate that comes from the fatty acid. It gets wasted and mm -hmm. excreted. So that's a, you know, that's part of that, that, uh, that, that calorie balance thing mm -hmm. that, that happens with the ketogenic diet. Yeah. All right. So there you go. Um, if you are uh, on a ketogenic diet, utilize the urine strips and the blood ketones and uh, you'll get a good uh, idea of where you're at. So with that, I guess well, that's it. All right. Hey, thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to our videos and we will be back soon with another one. Thanks.